Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Spring and today we have a travel training vlog from our recent trip to Thailand. We went to two places in Thailand, Bangkok, which we'll be covering in this video, and Hua Hin, which will be in a separate video altogether. In Bangkok, we trained at TDET 99, Luke Swan Gym for PT through Ajahn Wat, FA Group, and PK Senchai Gym. We also did a lot of sightseeing and we'll be sharing the Muay Thai related ones in the vlog, so let's get into it. Day 1 training in Bangkok, we headed to T Dead 99, a Primo Fightwear ally gym. Training is from 3 to 6 pm and fired us out for a run when we arrived around 2 30 pm. T Dead 99 is located on a rooftop, which you get to via the lift to the 8th floor and then up a flight of stairs to the 9th floor. It's a spacious and airy gym with a nice cooling breeze, making the Bangkok heat bearable for training. We're at the Primo gym in Bangkok. Uh, we're meeting the Primo guys for the first time today. We're waiting on John and everyone else from gym. We're a little bit early today and we have Wilson and Jazz and of course River behind the camera. And we're super excited to be here and hopefully have more snapshots of the training today. See you guys soon. Bye. Straight away we got the vibe that this was a serious fight focused gym. There was no other foreigners around and the coaches spoke little English. They were super friendly though and took a lot of time to include us in the session and to teach us. <laughs> Training started with the warm up of 200 skip knees on the bag, followed by 3 by 5 minute rounds of boxing sparring. Then we moved into one long 9 minute pad round each with a trainer. Yep, it was pretty tiring. After pad work, we clinched for around 30 minutes before a heap of conditioning to finish. <laughs> How are you going? Dying. 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 <laughs> We tried to follow along the team and did sets of 200 push-ups in sets of 100, 300 sit-ups in sets of 150, followed by low kicks on a kick shield, with a trainer, kicks on the back, bicep curls and chin-ups. Overall, it was a tough but super enjoyable session. We found it! Good morning! Yeah! <laughs> Round two! <laughs> Day 2 in Bangkok, we headed to Luke Swan Gym to train with Ajahn Wat. Ajahn Wat was my trainer when I was here in Thailand pre-COVID, training at Pet Indy for a month. He took me under his wing and took really good care of me, so I was super excited to see him again this trip. He currently only teaches PTs to others and is solely Savas' trainer, so we booked him in for two sessions this trip. It was so good to see Ajahn Wat again, and as many of you know, he has enthusiasm and energy like no other trainer. Session 1 started with 10 minutes of skipping followed by some shadow boxing. Then Ajahn took us each on pads and some sparring. His session focused in a mixture of technique correction and also a flow of reactions and strikes depending on the range or weapon he was throwing at us. Ajahn took plenty of time to break down techniques and combinations and also kept us on our toes constantly. And as he says, if you're not ready, he'll always strike or throw you to the canvas. He's super involved in the training and gets right into getting swept and hit himself. He expects you to throw with intent and power once you get what he's asking of you. If not, you repeat until you get it right. Yes. 
Our second day in Bangkok ended with us all going to Rajadamnan Stadium to enjoy some fights and catch up with another one of our Melbourne friends, Marcus. It was a cool atmosphere with live Muay Thai music and a crowd of enthusiastic gamblers. Day 3, we headed back for another PT with Ajahn Wat. For those of you looking to book him in, Ajahn runs 2-3 to three sessions a day at Luke Swan Muay Thai Camp. Small backstory, the girl I fought last time I was here in Bangkok, Maria, this is her home gym. You can book Ajahn in via Instagram DMs. Today we headed back to train with Ajahn determined to do better. Session 2 started with the same 10 minutes of skipping and some shadow boxing. We moved into pad work, continuing on some flow patterns and techniques we started working on yesterday. For me, it takes a few sessions before I get used to training with a trainer and to understand what they expect of me. Since it's been two years with Ajahn, the second session felt way smoother for both River and I. The session ended with some clinching technique. My most favorite thing about Ajahn Wat is his energy. It just rubs off on you and how excited and passionate he is about Muay Thai and training. I can't wait to head back to train with him the next time we're in Bangkok. Oh yeah! Day 3 ended with dinner with the Primo Fightwear founders, John and Kyle. As mentioned earlier in the vlog, this was the first time we had all met in person after communication via socials for a year and being a part of their team. It was a lovely vegan dinner with lots of laughs and good memories as the crew were in high spirits. This was also the last day for us as a group as Jazz, Wilson and Nong were headed off to Phuket the next day while me and Riv were headed to Hua Hin the day after. Ah, you saw that, yeah. <laughs> On our last full day in Bangkok before heading to Hua Hin, our day started with watching Road to One Thailand semi-finals at Lumpini Stadium. Hi! Uh, hi. <laughs> we were invited by Matt Lucas and glad we ended up going as the fights were crazy. Majority of the fights ended up with knockouts thanks to small forearms, gloves and heavy hits from the fighters. We also got to watch my last opponent Duang Denoy fight and cheer her on. After the fight show, we did a small Q&A backstage with Matt before heading back to quickly get to FA Group for the afternoon training session. The afternoon session was from 3 to 5 p.m. Marcus, our friend from Melbourne, ended up joining us for training. It was a very warm afternoon and quite honestly, I died after the clinch. We warmed up with 10 to 15 minutes of skipping and then went straight into one hour of clinching. Clinching was free work and the coaches came over to help and teach as problems arose in your clinch. After the clinch, we headed into pad work. We did 3x3 three three minute rounds with some speed kicks in the end. Those who were waiting around for pads did their own bag work or boxing sparring outside the ring. Coaches and students at FRA Group were super friendly. We felt welcome straight away. 
fellow students came up to introduce themselves and show us around the gym. Everyone was helpful and the vibe of the gym was great. Coaches were playful and energetic. They took the time to be involved in our clinch and in teaching us during pad work. Overall, we really enjoyed the training and we would come back next time we're in Bangkok. <laughs> And that concluded the first leg of our Bangkok training section. We had one more stop after Hua Hin to PK San Chai for a session before heading back to Melbourne. On our last morning in Bangkok, we headed to PK San Chai for a session. As it was a Saturday, the rest of the crew had an SNC session while the coaches took us to do some pad work. We started the session at 7am with running. By the time we had arrived at the gym, fighters were already on their treadmills running for 45 minutes to an hour. Others were running on the mat and we joined in. Running was for about 15 to 20 minutes before they moved on to skipping, but we were kept on the jogging. At around 7.30 a.m., we split up into doing pad work. We did five rounds of five minutes worth with the coaches. Training was intense, though we expected nothing less from one of the top gyms in the world. The other fighters went through the circuit and at the end, River was included in the final push-up sets. Trainers were friendly and helpful. The vibe was serious as many fighters looked like they were in fight prep or weight cutting. We spotted Sang Mani cutting weight for his upcoming bout on one. Overall, we would look to come back and spend more time at PK to get a better grasp of the training style and structure. One class is definitely not enough. And that concludes our Bangkok training vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for part 2 where we go to Hua Hin to train in Sit Japo for a week. See you there!